about this second game. I think in general, Neon's lineup is much better than game one. I'll get that out there before you say whatever you got. Mavis is the one. Ooh, Chuan is gone a little early, maybe. Oh, he's got actually going to hook Enryu into the middle. Still first one. It's going to be picked up. Carlo trying to hit back with a triple bell on the strike, but... But if you're not able to steal away the creep, mid lane, is Avatar mode okay? I think he should be. Oh, unless, Krish. Yeah, they saw Chuan rotating mid, though, with that observe ward, but Krish is still going to be in some trouble. Hang on! Oh, he went over to the tower! But he doesn't have the extra assistance coming through with the crit wave tanking up the damage. But Carlo's nearby. Nobody get that last second stun to step in with the... They do go for these super deep dives. Obviously, oh, bottom lane, and Ryu. Should be able to get a kill onto the Beastmaster. Trying to... Funnel his way into the tree. Oh, awkward at the hook, but Mavis will get the kill regardless. Didn't even need to give him the clap. On the help out, they might be able to get the toss under the tower. Mavis got the tomato man rapid to the river. Oh no, not like this. Chuan is going to run right into him. Has to go the other way. Not the hell, this smasher. Look, he's against three heroes and they can't do anything. You said on top lane, Bell? They got the black hole off, four heroes on TNT. Like, they're playing this game perfectly. This is not a team that... ...able to claim two towers before 10 minutes. So I think TNT are very happy with the pace of this game. Carlo, somebody cancel says TP. Christian Mavis going to step in. You'd love to give the kill to Chris, trying to get him closer to that blink timing. And yeah, they're going to do that. Really important to find... Hold that thought real quick is... Bok is going to be in a bit of trouble. Twine and Avatar mode smoking to top. Should be an easy kill for them to find. Even Sez gonna feel the need to use the Solar Guardian just to kill off Bok before they're in a position to be able to take Roche. And even if they felt like oh, they Avatar were... mode mid lane, he's gonna be in trouble. Solar Guardian used defensively along with the coil, but instantly oh, hooked sir. into the middle. Only, at least he does keep his puck alive. So what I was so you know they're not roaching and they haven't had a chance to take either a tier one mid or top so that you know that you're not in your triangle they can't oh. roche so just... i've been trouble meanwhile down to the south they've run into enryu three heroes surrounding the beast 21 I oh say. my god Don't, yeah no, 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 i hate that always actually frustrates me sir gonna run into carlo box gonna jump in as well they will not require the ultimate from box to be able to secure the kill Playing around this Helm of the Overlord timing. He's going to TP back mode. now. But... It's going to run straight to Yowie. They get the first stun into the chain afterwards. What is Avatar mode doing there? I see it doing everything that they're supposed to be. Really nicely done, TNT. Trying to protect their ward on the high ground. And they'll secure a kill throughout that sequence of events. And now they're going to be onto the Bristleback as well. They're starting to stack up the Quills. Bell, about half health to play with. What do you think Krish has? Um, I meant Krish as well with the DD. Uh, yeah, well, you're happy. It sounds like happy. He's ch charging up Revenant's approach. There's a lot of damage on your way. Avatar mode is in with Ooh. the coil as well. Controlling three for the moment, but Krish on the oh. side. What a combo. Two are gone just like that, but they've got the Solid Guardian back in the middle. They swap in sleep to get rid of the black hole, but they have to be cautious about fighting into the Midnight Pulse. All the percent damage is just ripping Neon apart as they cannot stand their ground and take the fight into TNC's ranks. It's charging in. They go behind the T2 tower. Punch has that BKB though. Avatar mode. Very important. Remember the coil. They're onto Bok, which is going to be important. A BKB protecting for the moment. Defensive swap. Bruce back. He's still stuck inside the Midnight Pulse. Down goes your carry. And now without the damage to continue on with this team fight. Neon. Oh, they got to get out. Delta splitting left, right, and center. Just hoping that one of their members can evade this team fight, but they will not be. Right now is just following your way around. Just saying, Bok. all right, well. Ooh. He's got the high ground advantage. Uh-oh. An instant roar to hold them back from the threat of the black hole, but the rest of the TNT swarming into their location instantly cut. Do like that they're going for the, the wave push though on Henry a couple you. of their heroes. Well, it's a triangle, Christian Carlo in conjunction together. Oh. They're gonna miss the boundless, but he should tick out to the orchid. And they won't even make sure 
There's a possibility for it not to work. Chris put in the color is doing what they're meant to be, right? This is the strength of Dawn. Like, might, might die is for it. Gonna it solo? But... What's the play? Oh, no, nah, he's got your way coming on over. I was going to say, is, is anyone going to join him? Is he forced to drop the black hole? But no, your way instantly to the top. Meanwhile, mid lane, though, they're also on to Chuan. Rich being able to jump in. Hurricane Pike's actually going to buy him a little bit of distance, but the Rizzleback still can run directly into the middle, stepping on top of Krish. All the minus armor that Bell is able to sack up. Sure, you might die on the Dawnbreaker, but as long uh -oh. as you get the kill up. Oh, you're happy to drop Black Hole if you want for this. The Solar Guardian coming through once again. Afterwards, though, Bok pops the BKB into the Black Hole. They go just setting up for a two-man ultimate. Is your way even going Fickin' X? But they do scout this out with a wave of terror. So they're going to back up to the high goal. Look at the wraparound. Because your way onto the Pox location. And now without Avatar mode, what is the play? A double bound. The strike. Oh, and your way just leaping into the middle. Neon again. Trying to do whatever they can just evacuate from this location. Only two. Because he's going to be that high ground siege now with the Ag Shard. Oh, oh my god, yo, hey. Man, this dude on the pudge. It's something that teams are going to have to start considering a little bit more. Ooh. Krish? All right, well, that might be easier. Just toss him back instead of going for the hook. The damage is snacking up there with the quills. Look at that. Oh, that's Ooh. a way to end the game. <laughs> Buck with the black hole onto four. They're going to be playing off the back, the buybacks. But even then, it might not be enough. Mavis is out. Carlo as well. Seven, Seven seconds, yeah. Bottom lane, who they've run into. Krish onto Mr. N. Ryu. Mavis. Hey, wait, what? Who's beyond God like? What's going on? There's a supporting Chandris. No, nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with the untouchable slow. I think he's having a bit of fun. Yeah. Oh, in case the oh, Midas didn't Buck. give it away. Nice blink forward to be able to dodge the missile. And now Carlo and Yoe as well. Oh no, Bell ball back prior. They need to keep him alive. And the Solid Guardian is not going to be enough. That should be game as TNC. A clean 2-0 victory and a celebratory black hole for good measure. Those are the Bok black holes that we're more used to hey, seeing. But, come uh, on now. Yeah, no, no, it's all in good fun. I mean, you and I were casting some uh, some Oz Dota recently where we saw a few of those celebratory black holes, but uh, TNC, they earned this one for sure. Like, they, they just... While I wasn't super confident in the draft, I feel like Neon could have absolutely taken better advantage of the fact that they had a good counter to the Enigma. It just never happened. And uh, Carlo played an amazing...